Good evening, my name's Stan Lucemore. I'm Head of Production here at Global Transport Forum. I'm stood at the CBTC World Congress with Mr George Hacken from New York City Transit. Uh, George, maybe you could briefly explain to our members why New York City Transit decided to implement CBTC. Yes, basically the uh, one impetus for CBTC is the uh, increased throughput, the efficiency, the people moving and so forth. Uh, CBTC actually precedes, uh, or the uh, project precedes my presence at uh, New York City Transit, but that's the one impetus. Secondly is the high flexibility of features that it would offer as it is uh, software-based. It's always a two-edged sword because with software, the world is your oyster, but you can also introduce all kinds of anomalies. And um, CBTC is also uh, essentially a superset. It is a species of um, positive train control. In, in, in the conventional signaling world, uh, the train is stopped in an emergency by things like trip stops and so forth, but the control is in the driver. Uh, so uh, CBTC now takes control of the train. It also, as much as we all like human beings, it takes human beings out of certain loops where they are error prone and therefore offers uh, an enormous potential for enhanced safety as long as you can certify the software to be safe. So in a nutshell, that's why CBTC. Perfect, thank you. And what sort of impact has the implementation of this technology had on the service that you're able to provide for passengers? Okay, we have been in revenue service since two th January 2006. There is good evidence in a highly complex system, as you all know, and it went through stages of, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, before cutover there were, you know, two masters, one was the conventional and so forth. So, uh, but there is ample evidence now for an excellent throughput of passengers uh, with CBTC. And also, uh, I don't know if we should be surprised, but the community at large has uh, accepted it uh, with open arms. Over the course of the next five to ten years, what do you envisage being the main challenges with the system that you'll have to face? The, the main challenges um, are our, our immediate, or by immediate I mean the next five years, uh, would be interoperability in, in the various senses of the word. We are currently running a CBTC system is uh, the Siemens system. Uh, right now, we are starting to, uh, you know, the flushing uh, Thales system for a very long flushing line, and the next one will be an interoperable both Siemens and Thales, what's known as the Culver and uh, whatever Queensboro and all kinds of other New York locations and, and lines. But we do see this not uh, the whole thing not stopping. I mean, it's. It's going in one direction and that's forward. And why do you attend conferences such as this? What value have you found from today's meeting? Oh, I, it's amazing. Uh, I'm glad <laughs> I made the effort today under the circumstances. What, well, I'll say what comes first to mind. Actually, it seems that even with the number of cultures, number of properties here and so forth, in some sense, we all have the same problem, and it's always good to hear that maybe your own subjective uh, impressions seem to have some objectivity. And so, and, and these people are very first rate, the people who attend these, excluding myself, but that's beside the point. <laughs> okay. Not at all, not at all. Whatever. <laughs> George, thank you very much for joining us. Delighted to have you here. Thank you.